turn up. Look, I be up when you call me. Who told you crying was solid? Girl, for free to stop venting. It's okay. Hey guys, it's Queen Mia, as I should probably start calling myself. I don't know why I never call myself that. That's the name of my channel. I might as well call myself that. But yes, I'm back with another video. This is a makeup haul video. I've been getting a lot of stuff in the mail. I mean, I order stuff online all the time because. But basically everything kind of came at once. Well, I've had some stuff for a few days and I just got some stuff in the mail today. And I'm actually wearing some of the stuff right now because I was so excited. I can never stop myself. I have to open everything and touch everything right away or else I'll, have, I'll go crazy or something. So I am wearing some of the makeup that I, got, uh, that I just got today. Please. Let's see if you can guess. If you have your own Snapchat, you already know how. So let's get into the haul. What is this? Well, I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got um, first, like a few days ago. If you have me on Snapchat, you would have seen it already. Uh, yeah. The Nubian 2 palette by Juvia. Yeah, by Juvia's. And you get it from her online store, um, like juviasplace.com. And this is like so. The colors are so beautiful. They're so pigmented. I'm going to do swatches. Even though I've already done them on my Snapchat, I'll do it again for the YouTube. But you should add me on Snapchat. Uh, and yeah, but you know. Basically, these colors are ridiculously pigmented. Maybe I'll, I'll just pretend to do it right now. But I'm going to do it in like a close-up later. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. And it came in like... Like, the palette's already pretty big by itself, but it came in a bigger box, and it was, like, really secure packaging. It had bubble wrap around it, so, like, because, like, I know a bunch of makeup has been coming in broken lately. Not from, specifically from this place, but, like, other makeup, like Jeffree Star or, like, Kylie Jenner or stuff like that. So, that was not the case, because it was very securely wrapped and packaged, and, like, I think that the packaging is so cute, like, with the um, Queen Nefertiti on here. And it says on the back of the box set, what, what a rain mean. Um, but all the colors are really pretty. I guess I'll just I'll just read through them really quick. Like I said, Jezebel and Yah are my faves. But they have Morocco, Jezebel, Nairobi, Madagascar. Did it go? Oh, you're in the video? Well, you can go by. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I was about to go by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Too. It's like a dark purple, shimmery purple. Sheba, Cleopatra, Kenya, Yah. I really like this, like a rose gold, coppery color type thing. Uh, Nefertiti and Egypt. Yep. Um, so I love that palette. It's really I only brought the box and a couple of the brushes down, but this actually comes with 10 brushes. This is a dupe uh, for the Artiste brush set, which is like 200 or $300, which I keep seeing. The prices always range, like when you see the YouTube title, it's like, oh, $400 Artiste brush set. No, it's two, 200 something dollars. Like, I don't know how much those things really cost. I just know it's in the hundreds and I'm not buying it. So I got, I really like the idea of them. Like, I really want to try them because they look so interesting and unique. So I actually have been using these. Um, well, at least just like the biggest brush that I have in my hand. The face brushes, like the biggest foundation brushes. And this was only $30 or $35 for 10 brushes. Here are the brushes. I got them in rose gold. Because it's such a pretty color. And the brushes are pretty soft. Um, it applies foundation pretty well. I don't I haven't used any of the smaller brushes. Oh my god, there's makeup on everything. Any of the smaller brushes yet. Um, I think they're like lip brushes and like liner eyebrow brushes or something like that. But these like three big brushes are my faves. I use them. I'm 
someone else. The perks of filming in your living room. Film this video as fast as possible before more members of my family walk through my video so sorry about that if you just see me like look off into the distance because I know one of them is coming anyway so now moving on to my, my favorite makeup brand ever I don't know I just love Colourpop I just I love them because their stuff is so affordable like I don't want to say cheap because like when I say cheap I feel like I'm um, using it to describe stuff that's not good but it's just like really affordable like they're liquid matte lipsticks that I'm wearing right now I'm wearing stingray but I've been had my other matte lipsticks are 15 to 20 dollars so I really love that what Colourpop's doing they have a great formula their lipsticks are always so beautiful so it's just a great brand and I'm so excited about this, what I just got today because I was watching a video. I knew that Colourpop came out with like highlights. I didn't know how they looked that well, if they looked good on brown skin or not. So I watched some videos and someone recommended the highlight Monster. And I've been trying to get more creative with my makeup looks, trying to step out my comfort zone, use different colors. So I really want to get iridescent highlighter, which is what I have right now. I don't, this light's too, kind of too bright. I feel like it's illuminating my whole face. It is the most beautiful highlighter, like, your real one color. It's the definition of perfection and beautifulness. It's just the most amazing thing that I bought from there this time. Well, I haven't swatched all the lipsticks yet, but this is, like, so beautiful. I could not stop putting it on, so if I look over highlighted, it's because, like, I literally just kept putting this thing on. It's, like, it seems like from the container like that would be like too light for someone like me but when you like swatch like I'm gonna swatch it again like even though it's already on my face it looks amazing like it would come out kind of pale but it, like it's like this really vibrant like pink purple just beautiful iridescent color that I've been really looking for and it's just like so good like that highlight like if I keep moving my face to the side like this or like push, pushing my hair back so you can see it it's that. like anyone who knows me like my friends like I when I'm taking a selfie or something where's the smell <laughs> it's so beautiful that highlight though like it it's magnificent I can see it in my camera right now it's more on the side but this monster highlighter it's but Colourpop's packaging is really cute too but like the strangest thing like this came in the mail today the package was really beat up so that made me really nervous that's what really made me like take everything out and like make sure it was okay um but the package was really beat up I'm gonna like put pictures of what what it looked like and like some of my lipsticks look like not like the actual tube of lipstick but the boxes look open or like bent and stuff and like Colourpop always sends like their little well this makeup is from me sends like their little letter but it's like all bent up and I don't blame Colourpop for this because like I've ordered stuff from them before and it was fine. Um, I just blame like the postal service or like whoever like shipped this. Because it's not the first time like I've ever gotten like a package like bent or anything. I was just so mad because it says like fragile really big on the packaging and like they still probably like threw it around anyway. So I blame like the shipping company or like the post office or whoever deals with that stuff so I blame them I don't blame Colourpop so cute they send they always give you this letter it says hey love you are the apple to my pie xoxo Colourpop but every message that they send is different you always get one when you buy something um let's move on to my other stuff ah! no oh my gosh these are I also got their packaging is so cute like it's so simple I love it but I just got um, this brow gel and I feel like I should have got it darker now because I'll, I'll swatch it but it looks kind of like a too light of a brown. I mean it might be good but I like my eyebrows kind of dark. But I got the cream eyebrow, what is this called? Cream brow color in Banging Brunette. 
So uh, we'll see how that works. But I'm going to swatch that. And then I accidentally got this because I thought I was getting a black cream gel eyeliner. But because I just like clicked on like the darkest shade without like scrolling through all the pictures. Um, I just clicked the darkest shade. But I'm kind of happy that I did. But I mean I haven't swatched the color yet. But like I said I'm going to try to go out of my comfort zone. Get different colors. Blah blah blah. Um, this is the cream gel eyeliner in No Shame. And it's like a really dark violet purple color. I'm going to swatch it. And then my favorite things from Color Well, now their highlighter is my favorite thing. But um, I love these lipsticks. Um, I ordered something from the K-pop collection. Um, from the videos that I've seen of people ordering K-pop, they always get a letter from Karooch. I'm not, like, super upset about it, but, like, the way that my packages were all messed up, like, the Karooch lipstick, like, the top was all the way open like this when I got it. Which, like, I kind of... I didn't get no letter from Karooch. Karoochi. Sorry, I always say her name wrong. But I didn't get any letter from Karoochi. So I was kind of like, did someone just, like, go into my box to steal the letter from Karooch? Or... That I just not get one but then like I was thinking I was like well I only did get one thing everyone else who got it kind of got like two or three things or like they bought her old collection so they got a letter from her so I mean I, I don't know whether the letter was stolen or like someone attempted to steal my lipsticks but who knows they're okay right now they're all here nothing was broken which I was so nervous about because it said it said fragile on the thing and this package came all bent up and dirty like it looked like they just like threw it around in the mud or they were playing catch with it or some crap and they almost broke it I was so mad I like said that I've been trying to go on my cover so like I really want some bright lipsticks but none of these are but these are extremely hard to get off if you ever bought Colourpop before you know that their liquid matte lipsticks do not move they will they don't transfer they are extremely hard to get off so like that that's not coming off Unless you rub really hard, you gotta get red ring around your mouth, you're not gonna like that at all. But that's good that this doesn't stay or it doesn't get on your clothes. I mean, like, if you kiss your hand, nothing's gonna come off. Like, yeah, like, nothing came off. I'm gonna swatch these, like, in, like, a close-up. But the colors I got are a pop collection by Karuchi. I got, um, the color K in the ultra matte lip. I actually, I liked all the colors in her collection, so I might order more and maybe I'll actually get the letter from Karuchi. But... I mean, we'll see what happens but the only thing different about her packaging is that it has like a gold ring around it as opposed to the other ones it's just like regular and oh I thought hers was bigger but it's not but I don't know do they look does this one but I got the color K which looks like like a brownish color I don't know I have to swatch stuff I can't describe stuff when it's in the bottle um, then I got the color Limbo, which is a brown, which I'm not, I want the browner colors because I never had a brown lipstick before, and I want one, so I got some. So this is the color Limbo. The color Kapow, which I'm really excited about this color. It's like, it looks like it's going to be a purple-gray color, but people usually like this color, so that's why I ordered it. And then the last color I got was Bumble. You can't see that from all I just love color pop. Honestly, I never stopped talking about it. Like, literally the main two lipsticks that I wear 90% of the time are Stingray from Colourpop and then Lolita from Kat Von D. But that's everything I got. I love everything that I got. It's, like, really great. Colourpop's great. The newbie. But I'll probably be filming another makeup look soon because the Instagram baddie, um, yeah. The Instagram baddie on a budget video actually got me 10 new subscribers. So, if you hear all these noises, this is music of my house but thank you so much for watching that video don't forget to like subscribe follow me on all my social media so you can see more updates about me and all the craziness i'm doing see when i'm filming videos when i buy new stuff <laughs> see you in my next video bye look at that highlight Say my name, say my name